Okay, uh, in this video, I want to make a simple tutorial or introduction tutorial to MSC Apex software. Uh, MSC Apex is uh, one of MSC software's product, uh, which is a uh, unified computer uh, computerized engineering or CAA with very uh, user friendly user interface. In fact, uh, this software is uh, the solver of the software using the same framework with MSC Nasran, which is the first uh, finite element analysis software in the world with a lot of uh, capability and have a uh, high robustness to solve uh, some complex problem. So uh, in this tutorial, I want to simulate a very simple bracket model with uh, only static uh, analysis. Okay, this is the user interface of the MSC Apex. You can see here we can access a lot of tutorials here, which is very detailed. Like for example, how to uh, make a mid surface, or maybe uh, how to make a glute assembly. It is very detailed in the uh, very yeah, short uh, tutorial. Step. So can you can access it every time by using this window and video player and you can generate geometry here for example if you want to make a simple box or a cylinder you can uh, actually draw right here but uh, you can also import uh, the geometry from the uh, outer source for example if you uh, design it with Katia uh, or SolidWorks or Autodesk Inventor you can just uh, import it from the uh, various uh, extensions for example parasolid, EGES, uh, STL, STP and in this case I want to uh, import it uh, the, S the EGES uh, extension so I want to import this conversion bracket uh, I think you can download this uh, geometry and I attach the link in the description below okay this is our model you can rotate it by using the uh, middle click and uh, drag it and you can uh, slide using the hold shift and hold the uh, middle click so uh, and also you can zoom in zoom in and zoom out by using the scroll okay and uh, Next step, we want to define the mesh. So you can use this icon meshing, and because it is a 3D model, so we use the solid meshing. You can also use uh, surface meshing. For example, if you have a two-dimensional model, for example, the symmetrical model or maybe mid-surface model, you can also have a one-dimensional model. For example, if you have such like a string or maybe uh some uh, simple beam with one dimensional cross section okay so you we so we use the solid mesh first uh, it is advisable to use the largest uh, size just to make sure that the geometry is fine and we can uh, make it little if you want to have a detailer uh, simulation or detailer result you can also choose the element type as the linear or a quadratic a quadratic is uh, better to use for a highly curved model but it used a uh, more uh, number of nodes so we use uh, this linear element because our uh, model have no such a highly curved uh, model i think uh, about 35 is okay okay it is more detailed maybe we will discuss it later next step we want to define the boundary conditions first we define the uh, constraints for example we want to uh, fix this uh, blade let's say it is attached to the wall so it cannot move uh, in the xyz direction for translation and also, also rotation so we use this enforced motion and we enforce all of the degree of freedoms in the translation and rotational direction 
in this is a selection for nodes and uh, elements so we use this as the surface uh, selection you just uh, place it anywhere it does not really uh, affect the result and we also want to define this edge in the bottom as sliding uh, sliding edge let's say you don't want to uh, make this uh, go backward and forward but you can uh, w but you just want to make it slide uh, up and down so we use the same uh, enforce motion but you only hold it in the x direction let's say and we pick this uh, edge and we do it uh, the same in the another edge okay i think that's all for the uh, displacement or the constraint next we want to define the uh, force before we go there we can see the tree diagram is updating while we are uh, editing our uh, case so we have three uh, motions and we want to add the uh, force let's say we want to give the y direction let's say uh, 500 newton and we apply it here uh, as we know the force is uh, uh, we must define the exact point for the for the uh, force it is usually in the center of gravity of the object so we can just uh, place it anywhere you want or let's say in the middle of this uh, object you can see this uh, dot here to help you find the center and we do it the same for another uh, face okay i think it is all for the force and the constraint next step is to define the material here you can click the material and create new material by input it by one by one or you can uh, use uh, the available material for example here the uh, in the my material library it is not really uh, complete but it is just for a uh, simple guidance let's say we want to take the stainless steel and we can check again our uh, mesh uh, sorry our material and we can use this stainless steel so we can just drag and drop this or we can use the sun material and we can see this uh, stainless steel okay I think everything is done and we can click uh, right click this body and place in analysis scene uh, this is very useful you can see the uh, a lot here like for example the element quality or maybe if you forget to apply the mesh or uh, you forget to apply the load or materials it will display it here but um, okay oh maybe we can use the uh, the quadratic element to make the mesh better mm, okay I think it's the geometry or we can make it smaller And let's try again. Hmm. Oh, this is our mesh. Okay, I think we can use a uh, let's try again. 
it is very useful uh, the analysis readiness is very useful to show uh, your problem bef before you actually uh, run your simulation okay I think it's everything is fine because uh, no alert anymore and you can check the environment type for example the static dynamics backlink and normal modes for uh, model analysis but we won't just use this static analysis and you can run uh, this simulation it shouldn't take a uh, long because it is just a very simple simulation yes we get uh, almost done and we can check our result here by post process it you can uh, see the, de the deformation by just click play forward like this if you don't want to see this uh, force you can just uncheck this a lot and if you want to see the uh, plot of the contour you can activate the fringe here let's say uh, one misses or uh, the stress you can change it to tresca or max principle for example there's a lot of uh, parameters you can explore here or you can uh, check its deformation like this so you can see this uh, it is rigid enough to hold the stress in the uh, unit is in the millimeter you can uh, also change it if you want and one more feature I want to show is the um, hotspot so you can find uh, where your design have the largest uh, stress for example so it is very useful if you want to figure out where is the largest uh, force so you can add more than two for example four it is up for uh, it is up to 10 I think yes it is up to 10 uh, hotspots and you can also check which uh, is the minimum for example if you want to uh, get the idea where is the uh, weakest uh, point or the largest uh, compression stress for example okay I think that is uh, all for this tutorial I hope you can uh, make another uh, case with this similar uh, workflow which is very simple and thank you for watching